Hello, this is Annie here from The Good Property Company. I'm at the Olympics in Rio. It's the only non-sunny day I've had so far, which is totally cool. I've just been in this great big building here uh, watching the 10 meters platform with Tom Daly, which has been amazing. Um, so I wanted to talk briefly about entrepreneurship. Um, it's likely, I mean, not entirely everybody, but the majority of the folks watching this probably are either still in a job or have come from a job. And we went to school, didn't we? We got taught to pass exams. Um, some of us went to university. We got taught to pass exams, put in assignments. It was all very structured and streamlined. And then probably the majority of us went into a job that was hierarchy, there was processes, there were performance reviews, you know. I mean, all of that stuff is actually really good stuff, but very structured and very defined. And suddenly, you either jump out full time and go for it, guys, because time is your biggest resource. It's not money and it's not skills, it's actually time. Uh, when people put time into it, that's when I see them make the biggest difference. So you suddenly jump out and you're now an entrepreneur. Well, the rules are quite different. Um, and so the skills that you had in your job, particularly if you had any strong political skills, kind of don't really matter anymore. Networking, I'm sure you're sick to death of hearing that, matters enormously because that's all about the relationships you forge, what you learn from other people, what partnerships you can do that are going to be really beneficial for both of you. Um, but also let's just talk and I'm going to go down so that I can join everybody else down there in the Olympic Village. Let's just talk about the skills you need. Just think about a board of a company and at the beginning of you being an entrepreneur, you're going to need all those skills. Now you can either uh, do all those skills yourself and probably at the beginning you'll be doing everything, you know, cleaning and chief exec and all the rest of it. And later on you'll probably be in some other people to do some of those skills. So you've got the chief exec, that person is strategic and also is there to make sure the job gets done. So kick ass whipper. And then you've got probably a sales director obviously to get the sales, maybe a marketing director to look at the branding, the reputation and to support both the external side working with customers, working with partners, but also sometimes in a bigger company to look at the internal to make sure internally people are happy as well. And later on if you do have a team, you've got to pay attention to the people you work with. Then the operations director, the person to actually get the darn thing done, quite an engineering brain a lot of the time, quite technical, um, probably, I'm, I like OCD, probably, you know, attention to detail. Um, and then you've got the finance director, haven't you? So very, very important aspect in property. You've got finances coming in, you're managing cash flow, you've got buy to sells, you've got financial projections, you may be borrowing money, you certainly be borrowing money from commercial companies or uh, mortgage companies, whether you're borrowing it privately as well. And all of those skills are skills that you need to learn about, master, and get really good at in the realm of property as fast as you can to accelerate your growth. So just have a think. Now you can learn about this stuff from books, you can learn about this stuff from other people, you can go on courses, um, we do a mentoring program, we do online courses as well as face to face. So there's lots and lots of ways to learn them, but identify maybe at the moment your level of, I think somebody's excited, your level of gap. So where am I at on strategy, on sales, on marketing, on finance and on operations, and where do I need to be? And then figure out a plan, how do I get myself there? Hope that's helpful. Bye.